Greetings, Internet. I'm Chris. This is Eli, Sir Wookie Wang. With the Smart Ass Podcast. Here to bring you another trailer reaction. One of my buddy's personal favorites. Oh, I'm so excited this time for Shin Megami Tensei 5. 5. They finally have a real reveal trailer from E3. <sighs> and someone leaked the fucking release date, so Atlas is like, fuck it. Everyone's excited. November 11th, well. 2021. Simultaneous releases in every country. So we don't have to wait after the Japanese release. So I'm excited. The only problem is it's a Switch exclusive. So if you don't have a Switch, gotta get the system, you gotta get the Switch now. And no but, one wants to play this game on a small screen. So you gotta avoid the Switch Lite and go for the real Switch. From what my buddy has been telling me, it'll be oh, worth the buy. So it, get that system. Definitely gonna be worth the buy. When was the last time? Uh, when did 4 come out? Do you know roughly the year? Yeah, so 4 came out on the 3DS a few years ago. Okay. And then they did a, uh, like, nah, not a spin off, but like, like an. A continuation, like side kind of thing, with they did a Shin Megami Tensei Four Apocalypse, which okay. is, takes place during Between Four. These? Okay, which is just like a different, ver like it's they, they connect well. Okay, all but, right. But then everyone still knows that Three is like out of my favorite of the mainline mm. ones, Nocturne, Nocturne, which keep playing the remaster. I have it with the volume off because mm. I honestly don't like the voice acting. The, <laughs> the game wasn't made with voice acting, so it doesn't look good with it now. Yeah, you don't like it. Whereas okay. this game. Is brand new and has voice acting, so I'm just used to it. Okay. So, Alrighty. we'll see. But yeah, we have a brand new E3 release trailer, so yes, sir. very excited for this. Ooh, Ooh daddy. Ooh, I, got, <laughs> I got the vapors. <laughs> well, let's check this out in a... Three, two, one. Blast off. SMT. Ooh, that music cue. As a high school student living in Tokyo... Are these Supposed to be like faceless. It's just, oh, never mind. I got gotcha. you. I see. It was probably the lighting. Yeah, it's just like further away. Trying to show like isolated. But that reality is upended after you get pulled into a different dimension. Oh yeah. Ouch. Another apocalyptic world. It looks hot. I hope she has water. That's a boy. At least bottled water. That's a boy. Oh, I'm so sorry, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Angels and demons. I'm very excited about this. He's just a very pretty boy. The fandom is already going over this. <laughs> you fuse with this, like, celestial being. It's interesting. You gain the powers. Exactly. Similar to how you swallowed the. Uh, wow, it looks really graphic-wise. It looks good. Right? Oh wow, Especially that's hilarious! Switch. Oh yeah, the, the monsters. Yeah, not all of them are like cutesy, goofy looking. You have like this. Uh, oh, it's like a RPG. Okay. Yeah, so there's the overworld, which is a very new-ish overworld for this series. It's like a turn-based system with attacks. Yeah, they call it the press turn system. Yeah. I miss all the demon heads from, uh... I'm guessing there's, like, items and armors and stuff like that. All kinds of stuff like that. And then you collect demons, kind of like an adult Pokemon. That's cool. Ooh, that thing's cool. Oh, yeah, the Cerberus. Yep. Wine tentacles. Or tail, whatever that is. Yeah, it's like a big snake tail. There's a story behind the one-headed Cerberus, too. And, like, the old, uh... Super Nintendo game. Your dog turns into Cerberus and I'm like, yeah, just give one head. Oh, I love it. Evolve. What's this supposed to be? Um, like garlic head? That thing's hilarious. It's like, it's like a Japanese you know, like demon. That's hilarious. It's got like a, a chicken body and there's BLs about That's messed up. Yep. You pull. There's a lot of cool fucking demons in here. I wish this came Jack out for Frost. Xbox. Right? I'm hoping after a year they drop the whole exclusive bullshit and just put on everything the way Resident Evil 4 did. Yep. New demons. I love it. Now, who's the ultimate bad guy or is it like different in it's, each game? Usually it's like you're either fighting God or the devil or both. Oh, devil, okay. And this one... It's Satan and some Lu Lucifer, anyway. Wow. <laughs> November 12th, you can pre-order 21st. Oh, it's getting pre-ordered fucking In immediately. a couple days, yeah, that's immediately. awesome. Immediately. Yeah. Then I just gotta get my ass a switch. Yeah. <laughs> I 
Eventually, I'll find one. There. <laughs> but I'm fucking very excited. New demons, new fucking wall. The graphics look really good. They're I've really never played the game, but especially that for looks, a Switch game. That looks really interesting. Yeah, I'm hoping there's no clipping or anything because I know yeah. some people had some like uh, latency issues with uh, the remaster mm -hmm. on the Switch version anyway. Yep. Where it was a little slow, but mm. I'm hoping this is made for the. It was made for the Switch with the, un the Unreal Engine, so yep. it should play smoothly enough. Mm. And, yeah, like I said, I'm hoping, like, after a year, like, they get rid of that exclusivity rate and they just put up yeah, every hopefully. fucking everything, period. They should. Because I mean, it looks fire, right? Yeah, it does. I mean, the story looks good. The gameplay. I love the apocalypse. I like the idea of it. All the different monsters and demons. Dude, fucking I. All Even the character itself. What's the main and character's mythology. name himself? Uh, so the protagonist is always unnamed. So unnamed, you, So okay. you can name him okay, yourself. that's interesting. But I want to know who the the being that you uh, fuse yeah, with that, is. Yeah, that's interesting. Because that's know. he's definitely some sort of like a uh, ancient deity or yeah. spirit or fucking demon or something. Meddling in uh yeah he's affairs, like, human affairs. Exactly. <laughs> it's kind of like in the uh, in, in Nocturne, where, like the devil like fucking drops bugs on your Turn throat and fucking wow. turns you into a demon. <laughs> 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 but I can't fucking wait. I'm is so the, excited. Is the protagonist always the same character? Always the always different. Always different? Okay. Nah, uh, yeah. The spin-off franchise of uh, the Persona series has some like lapping over characters, okay. like, especially part one and two. But uh yeah, the the mainline games like this, like it's always a different character. They're always like a nameless like fucking hero. Same time period roughly or no? Uh this one's obviously set in present day. Yep. Nocturne was set present day, but Back when it was released, so early two thousands. Okay. Part four was released in like the f like the future after like the world already fucking collapsed okay. once, wow. and like we we're rebuilding it, and then like like one and two were like friggin' like modern, and then like futuristic, and mm. so it's all over the place, which is interesting because yeah. it's always like a different take on it. Yeah, it keeps it new, keeps it fresh. Sometimes you don't want to see the same crap. Yeah, exactly. Especially but, with a franchise like that, you want to reach its full potential. I like the fucking franchise is like fucking 30 some odd years old, mm -hmm. so yeah. So I'm guessing there's different types of magics you can use and stuff like that. Yeah, they have like the elemental magic. You have okay. to, a, a big chunk of this game is uh, finding your enemy's weaknesses and exploiting them. Exploiting because, them, okay. Because you get like a, they call it the press turn thing, yeah. where like you have like a certain amount of turns like... To defeat the enemy. And, or stalemate him at least. <laughs> it's uh, how the hell am I going to describe it like... Depending on how many characters you have versus their characters, you get like a certain amount. Like, so each person can hit like once or twice okay. or whatever. Yeah. And then like, but if you exploit the weaknesses, you get an extra turn. Okay. And then you can either pass it around to the person that has like the similar kind of attack. Oh, that's nice. Whatnot. So you technically don't have to stick with that character. You can switch around with all your characters and make an attack. Yeah. Okay. Or fucking. I like that. And they, yeah, it's like all the elemental magics and stuff like that. That's cool. I like that. Bufu, Aji, fucking Zio, all that. No guns, right? No firearms. There used to be guns. Used to be? Okay. So, uh, but some of the games still have guns. Like, the last one I can think of off the top of my head uh, would be uh, Strange Journey. Str Strange Shin Megami Journey. Tensei Strange Journey. Fucking really great mm. game. It, that took a lot from, like, 80s, like, sci-fi horror movies. Okay. Like, like, The Thing and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, like, your character's Another basically... a great movie. Yeah, but your character's basically a space marine. So, yeah, you had fucking guns and yeah. you had knives and shit like that. That's cool. But this one it looks more like... You, you combine with that demon, it looks like he has, like, a fucking... Like a lightsaber for a hand, yeah. basically. It's pretty like badass. A big ass sword, too. Badass. So, but, yeah. but, but we will see. Yes, sir. We will see. Yeah, and I saw some uh, old demon favorites. I uh, had Jack Frost show up. Yeah, that's awesome. You had Jack Pixie. Frost. But it's funny how he looks so like charming, kind of. He doesn't look evil, but he's, he's an asshole. He's literally their mascot, yeah. which is the best part. <laughs> Fucking. I'll have to bring my, one of my toys next that's time. Great. <laughs> Fucking maybe do a playthrough. Here he is. Jack Frost. Oh, that'd be great if you can. Yeah, like, hi Jack. Hey buddy, good boy. I'll put yeah, we'll, we'll put, <laughs> all right. I'll put like Jack Frost in your hands. I'll put like Pyro Jack or like Jack I like fucking that. the Ripper in That'd my hands. Cool. But yeah, so you got old demons and some new demons that I did not recognize. Mm. One I know fans have been going nuts like trying to figure out who it is. Uh, like the fucking blonde headed guy with like the fucking sword, yeah, kind of, like Celtic. Yep. So we're all thinking that's like Finn McCool, who was mm. like uh, I don't know if they gonna pronounce it that way, but uh, he was like an Irish like. Uh, like a mystical, like hunter, like fucking that word I'm looking for, like demigod. Demigod, okay. So that that's the that's the rumor floating around the internet because we all saw that picture. We're mm. like, oh shit! And it, yeah, I'm hoping you know, like probably gonna be the Genma race. Like they separate mm. the demons, I like different clans and whatnot. Yeah. Kind of like when you cross them over and oh god, I'm excited. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm fucking rambling now. I'll stop. I'll stop at the rambling, but cut the shit. 
<laughs> Start <laughs> pre-order June twenty yep. first. Yep. And the game's coming out November eleventh simultaneously Go around ahead. the world in every fucking language. And hopefully after a year the exclusivity rights go away and it comes on every system. But for now, Nintendo Switch, I'm gonna pre order yeah. it, even though I have a Switch yet. Mm. Hopefully get one by November. <laughs> <laughs> well, otherwise it's gonna stay in the wrapper on my shelf for a little while. Yep. Oh well. Ooh. Shimigami Tensei five. Yes, get ready. Sir. Remember, I'm Chris. This is Eli, Sir Wookie Wang. That's Jack Frost. <laughs> and <laughs> he ho. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit that little bell in the corner for notifications. It's Jack Frost is coming. He might get you. The little <laughs> boo food on you. <laughs> and remember, keep watching the Smart Ass Podcast. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Night, internet. <laughs>